Yes, my name is Pastor Deuru Wangombe. I'm a member of this church and I'm happy to be the speaker this afternoon. I appreciate Bishop and the main leaders uh, for giving me this opportunity. I'm saying this because I know our church is very dynamic. There are people who have known me for years. Others have seen my face for the first time. Uh, but we are all brothers headed to heaven. Amen? Uh, I'm, I've been asked to speak on finances in the family. And allow me to ask how many lead a family here? I mean, you are married. You have a wife and children. Uh, good. Hey, 95%. Good. I don't know why the young guys don't turn up, including those who are from my own house. <laughs> Very few. <laughs> there are guys that I came with, and we were four in our car. And I, oh, they are here. Devi, say hi. Oh, that's my last born. Where are the rest? Anyway, this message. They may think that it is more for us that run families, but I think it's more for them. Because we have made our mistakes. True? Some of us have learned through making mistakes, but for them they are like a blank page. They have not done any mistake. And so this message will be of much help. <laughs> and when I was praying and meditating upon the word for today, I slightly changed the topic to read Money Matters. So we'll be speaking on money matters because money matters. Can I say it again? I will be speaking on money matters because money matters. Yes, money matters. Uh, we are told that Jesus talked about money in 11 out of his 39 parables. He spoke 39 parables for those who've read the Bible through. And out of the 39 parables, 11 of them, it was about money. So we shouldn't be ashamed to speak about money. Amen? Some of us are not very wealthy. I don't want to say we are poor. And the reason is, we don't speak about money. We don't relate with money. When you relate with anointing, you become anointed. Is that true? Then you walk with people who are anointed. You become anointed. When you relate with who? Like, I once sat next to a lady who sells fish in a matatu. Early in the morning, we used to go to town. Early in the morning, around five to six. And you can tell how I was smelling <laughs> by the time I arrived in town. Hallelujah. So, when we talk about money, I think money comes our way. Eh? Hallelujah. There was some, there's a man called Oscar Wilde. And he said, when I was young, I used to think that money was the most important thing in life. Now that I am old, I know it is. Can I say it again? I'm a pastor teacher. When you are a pastor teacher, you want to carry everybody along with you. Some have not yet understood me. Oscar said, when I was young, I used to think that money was the most important thing in life. Now that I am old, I know it is. Well, I know we, we are born again and we are going to heaven. That is not disputable. But money has its place in our lives. Don't ignore money because it may ignore you. Do you know if you ignore me? I'm a pastor. I'm actually a reverend. <laughs> but if you ignore me, what happens? I'm a pastor of many years. But I find, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not able to put it in the right wordings that I would want you to understand. There are people who, who cannot enter a house, not even building a house. They have moved to a new house before a pastor comes and speaks words. Not even pray. Speaks to that house. Hallelujah. There are others who just ignore us. I mean, when you ignore money, what happens? I will say it this way. Money may ignore you. 
since the days of Adam and Eve, man has always been the breadwinner, even today. I want to tell you something that you may not like me for. Do I say it? To you, I'm happy that I'm speaking to men and not to a mixed multitude. To your wife, your money is our money. Okay? Your money is our money. Now I'm your wife. I'm pretending to be your wife. Your money is our money. But my money is my money. Muna nisikia? Munipende, musinipende. That is the truth. Your money, you, man, is our, is the family money. But my money is my money. Now even if you leave you, Adam Mungu wanajua hivyo. That's why he calls you the breadwinner. It is not the government that calls you the breadwinner. It is God. Munasikia? Wacha vile tunasema hapa, tuna... Kuna maneno ingine tunasamanga tu, lakini ukweli kabisa ni huu. Ati munaenda, munaleta pesa kwa meza, munagawa. Some of the things we tell you in the counseling, <laughs> they are good. <laughs> lakini ukweli ni huu. Wewe die nani? Buradivina, ukipewa, furahia mungu na ushukuru. Aki kusaidia. Kwa sababu, kuna wengine wana tusaidia. Wengi wana tusaidia. Lakini ni kutusaidi. Because it is Adam that was put in the garden of Eden. And he was asked to tend it. Hapo ndiyo muanza wakazi. The beginning of work was in the garden of Eden. Sema, Adam. You are the breadwinner. Sasa wacha kukasirikia mke wako watu hujui pesa yake ya natipedekaga wapi. Yake ni yake. Yako diyo yetu. Munaelewa? Na ukienda hivyo utakobolewa. Na mungu wataweka pesa kwa mikono yako. Kwa sababu ushajua ukweli. Na ukweli umekueka nini? Sema huru. Naona upade huu hawa nipedi sana. Sawa tu. Hawa upade huu. <laughs> Dio wananielewa. <laughs> Amen. Haya tuendele. The Bible says this. Na usikize vizuri. First Timothy chapter 5 verse 8. But if any man does not provide for his own, and especially those of his own house, he has denied the faith and is worse than an infidel. That message, that particular scripture is not for a woman. Kuna mengine katika kitabu sha Timotheo imeongelewa kwa wanawake, lakini hii ni yetu. If any man does not provide for his own household. If any, who is a provider? By the way, even if she earns more than you, you are still the, the breadwinner. Even if she is senior at work, yani yeye, ako juu yako, huko, ama kama kanisani kuna wengine, Hapa wameitwa ni wachungaji. Yeye ni mchungaji wako tukiwa kanisani. Lakini ukienda nyumbani you are the head of the family and you are the breadwinner, you are the provider. Amen. I went to America last December and I met a man, a man of God. He's not a preacher, but the wife is a reverend. Na kaninongonezea kidogo. Tuliongea tu tukiongea. We had been called for a party. Tukapendana. He's very rich by the way. I, I like associating with the rich. Because it makes me think I'm rich. <laughs> he owns houses in America. And owning a house, not houses, a house in America. Hata Nairobi munajua sira hizi, sindio? Then in America is a hundred times harder. Now this man told me, I'm very happy for my wife. Because she prays for me. Ni meendelea katika biashara hivi. Kwa sababu she prays for, for me. Bwana asifiwe. But my point is this. Kule ni kanisani. Lakini tukifika nyumbani, kazi ni ya nani? Ni ya mume. Muna nielewa? Nambano muna nipenda? Now, I'm speaking on five principles of wise money management and then I will be done. Principle number one. For those who are writing, let me go a little bit slower. But did you hear this? 
Did you hear what I've just said? That Timothy says, or Timothy was told by Paul, if any man does not provide for his own, Asante Dubuyangu. By the way, as I see, thank you so much. Yesterday, I almost called Chitara. Nihuruma tu nilimuhurumia. Umambia sitaweza kuhubiri. Kwa ni mekambu wana homa. Nina swete kama sijui sungurue ama nini. <laughs> so, lakini nilipoenda kumpigia nikaona. Sasa nitaanza kusubua mtu wa mungu. Nati ya nitafutie muhubiri. Nikasema ni kwa imani. Wana asifiwe. And I am strong as you can see. If any man. Munaelewa. Hii mambo ya kuenda biguni ni sawa na tunaenda biguni. Lakini bibiria nye inatupereka biguni imetuambia. We are worse than an unbeliever if we fail to provide. Na hapo ndi yunataka kuwapereka katika hiyo safari ya kufika penye mungu wa gepeda tukue. Amen? Amen? Na nikikuwa mungumu sana unaniambia. Pastor umekuwa mungumu. Five principles of wise money management. Number one is work. Work. If, if you are writing down, write work. Work is a blessing, not a curse. Adam was asked to tend the garden of Eden before the fall. In Kudini, tulikuwa tumefunzo ya kwaba kazi ni kama laana. Adam was condemned to work, to sweat, after the fall. But no, work came before the... the Unanielewa? Work came before... Before the fall. Anjameni, muhubiri na mimi. Musikue tu kwa heta. Hata kama niko mungumu. Musikue wangumu. <laughs> Unajua niko mungumu na nyi mukue wangumu. Sasa itakuwa aje hiyo ball. Itakuwa kama hile ya mashemeji dabi. Genesis chapter 2 verse 15. The Bible says, And the Lord God took the man and put him into the Adam, garden of Eden to dress it and to keep it. Genesis 2.15. I'm trying to say this. Work is a blessing. Na nise, niongeza niseme hivi. Kazi yeyote ni nzuri. Bola inaleta kitu kwa nyuba. You never be ashamed of what you do. Sawa? Ni sawa? I have a friend who works in the laboratory. Na mwani same hee mkisikia kama naongea wibaye. Siku moja akaniambia pasta kazi kazi yote ni mzuri. Mimi kazi yenye ninafanya. Mimi I only used to know that he works in the hospital. Nilifikiria yeye ni clinic officer ama nurse. Akaniambia hapana. Mimi napima kinyezi. <laughs> kazi yangu ni kiamkia asubuhi. Inaletwa ninafanya nini? I that guy I was uh, I was in Nyeri. That guy was the first man to build a house. By the way, Nyeri, building a house in Nyeri is more difficult than Nairobi. Usabu plot ziko juu zaidi. I could not afford a plot in Nyeri, but I afforded one in Nairobi. Ye, yeah, alikuwa wakwanza kufanya nini? Unasikia? Am I preaching? Yes. Kazi yote ni nzu? Bora inaleta nini? Of course, ikuwe ligo. Usikuwe kama kijana mwingine alitaka ni muombe. Ati ya anze kazi ya mira. Na menitafuta. I rebuked him. <laughs> Uzuri wake ya risikia kacheji. When I mean illegal, not the, just the government. Ata kani biblia eh. Usianze kuhusa masigana at alafu utuambie. Tikazi, nilisema kazi ni kazi. Sawa. Illegal, kulingana na nini? Na neno. Ni sawa. Hallelujah. Ye, kazi yeyote, kuna pasta aliyariko hapa na bishop When I was new here Na nikamsikia akihubiri Actually he is a bishop Akasema, alikuwa na kifungo ya gari Mimi sina e, Akasema, mimi kazi ya uhubiri diyo nimefanya miaka yangu yote Lakini ikishindwa kuweka chakula kwa meza Na kulisha watoto wangu na kuwafudisha, kuwasomesha Mimi, hii ni driving, alitua driving license Hii ni driving license Nitaenda pale gekoba uh, ni, ni wapi? Machako Na nitafute kazi ya driver 
na nipige zika nairobi nini 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 and i thought that was very noble that's a man of god that anointed that was saying that kazi ni kazi ni kazi and don't be ashamed of telling us what you do we are hata wakikui wanasema wega umba na moshi charity begins at at home tuambie i went with the, the little i've read with to tanzania na nilienda kama mtumishi lakini nilipofika pale nikaanza kuambia what i do beyond preaching I, for you that do not know i do music video production that's one of my companies nikajitangaza do you know i got two jobs in tabora amen nikwambie zinileta pesa ngapi 200k proximately haikufika kabisa lakini karibu hapo kusema tu na of course nilikuwa nimebeba to, to business card be wise jesus wants to the people that the children of the world are far much wiser than the children of light eh unataka tu tumsifu bwana hapa 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 na uko jaa na sisi labda ndio tuko na jawabu tuambie una ule george mnaona pale amenipeleka mpaka kwa duka yake anauza serious George nikinunua serious kuingine na sikianga kama ni, ni mwenye, mimi ni mwenye dhabi nataka nimkuze amen he was not ashamed na akunipeleka mimi peke yangu a whole department ya hospitality katupeleka kwa duka akasema muombe tuiombe na tukanunua that day yenyewe tulinunua na tukafua takununua bwana asifiwe lakini point yangu ni work the first principle is work na na na, na usio usione aibu wewe start anywhere i'm an reverend as i've told you maybe i'll be a bishop in the near future but i started as a hawker haikunizuia haikunifunga pale wangu wapedagi nikisema na najua ananiona acha <laughs> nisiogee hiyo sana <laughs> hataki kusikika aliolewa na hawker <laughs> haijanizuia sikufungwa pale niliso nilisonga nilikuwa nashikwa na kajo ni kweli nishaingizwa ndani mara kadhaa sijalala lakini nishaingizwa mara kadhaa me am the kind of guy that have grown unajua kuna wengine Mungu amewapitishia through the lift na ni mzuri through the lakini kuna wengine tunapandishwa through the stairs na unaenda gorofa ya kumi. amen na bado zote tunafi unaweza fika bele yangu lakini bado nitafi amen don't be ashamed of what you do kwa sababu unasema hakuna wateja na labda wateja wangekuwa sisi tukitoka hapa kwanza na kuamuru sasa unasalimia watu wawili up to five ukiwaambia unafanya nini na kutoka leo uanze kutoa business card usitembee bila business card ama tu vitabu tungine sijui tunaitwa namna gani ukiadikia mtu na baba yako una, 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 una ama ukimwandikia chochote kuna jina unaandika hapo kakona what you do mnaelewa we must lakini point ni work ya pili ndio think so if you are writing down write to think the second principle towards financial manage, money management financial breakthrough is think i'll say this work smart not just hard i'm not saying working hard is bad but work smart working smarter is even better than working hard the hardest workers are paid the least compare an architect an engineer and a casual laborer in a construction site niambie ukweli yule mtu hushoka sana jioni ni yule mtu tunaita wa mikono ni kweli urongo ndio shoka sai zaidi hata hata kushida fudi lakini fudi huwa analipwa double food mason kuna kijana my nephew pale inua mkono mulio watu wajue kuna mason hapa wasizubuke <laughs> anaitwa nganga is my brother's son nao yeye ni fudi mimi naona fudi anatumana tu wewe leta mawe leta simiti yeye ni kuwekelea na kafu 
Mnaelewa? Lakini yule mtu huchoka sana ni nani? Ni the hardest worker. Lakini yule mtu hata hachoki zaidi ni the thinker. Unajua the thinker ni nani? Sema architect. Alikaa tu labda hata kulikuwa usiku. Anafanya nini? Inakuja kwa maidi yake, siku hizi hata ni computer. Hiyo kitu inatokezea. And an architect is paid is it 5%? Your daughter is one. 5% of the total costs. Mnasikia? This man's first born daughter is an architect. Na nimeniambia 5% of the total cost goes to Kama hiyo project yako ni ya 100 million. Milioni ngapi? Zitaenda kwa nani? Sema thinker. Thinker. Mtu wa mikono atachoka lakini hata hatafikisha 0.001%. So think. The Holy Spirit is not a replacement for our thinking. Mnaelewa? Hapo ndio tunafanya makosa sana. Unaachia Holy Spirit mambo ambayo ni yako. Hapana. He is not he is not a replacement for our thinking. He is a facilitator. Prayers go hard in hard with thinking for it to be effective. I repeat. Prayers go hard in hard with thinking for it to be effective. Acheni niseme kitu kingine hapa. Na mnisamehe kama sijasema. Umenisamehea? Eh? Saturday kuna harusi hapa. Si ndio? Suppose hawa jamaa alafu waende waobe. Waobe tu hata wafuge. Kuna ma adhine products. Ah, nijibu. Kutakuwa ko? Hakuna. Work must be involved. Sema involved. So you cannot pray what you cannot ask God to do what belongs to you. Lazima ufanye kazi. Kwa wazee ni kazi, kwa vijana si kazi. <laughs> That one you may not understand until you get to our age. <laughs> Successful people are not measured by college degrees or certificates alone, but by their ability to think. That's why the field of success is very different from the field of academics. I'm not saying academics is bad. Uh, bad. However, yule aliyekuwa mwerefu sana shuleni does not necessarily become the best when we come to the marketplace the one who becomes the best in the marketplace is the thinker amen successful people have one thing in common they possess high thinking ability can i say that again successful people have one thing in common they possess high thinking ability you must be a thinker if you want to survive amen there are things that god will never do for man because he has given man the mental capacity to do them our mind is one of the greatest gifts god has given to man hiyo our mind is one of the greatest gifts god has given to man You aren't poor because of lack of money. I know I'm not speaking to poor people. But the poor people are not poor because of lack of money, but due to lack of ideas. Can I let, let me tell you something that I've realized in the course of my business life. Money is always available. Mnajua bank ni za nini? Sio za kuweka pesa tu. Ni za hata kupeana pesa. By the way, siku hizi kupata pesa ni rahisi zaidi. At, even without a, a, a bank account mnaona hizi pesa watu wanapewa hata kwa simu fuliza kcb what mnaziona kuna watu wanazitumia hizo na wanatajirika because they have ideas we are not in lack because of lack of money we are in lack because of lack of ideas unafuliza kwenda sikukuu 
Somebody sent me last December, Christmas. Ati, ukishidwa kweda, nika message kwa WhatsApp. If you are not able to go home, don't be worried. Jesus was not born in your, fi- <laughs> in your village. <laughs> and I think I liked that. Si lazima uweda ushagu, kama hauna pesa. Usikope ya kuenda, usha, na January na kugoja. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Muna niyawa watu wa mungu. Bible commands us to think. It's not only me who is talking about thinking. Go and read Philippians verse 4, verse 8, uh, verse, uh, chapter 4, verse 8. It says, finally, brothers and sisters, bra, 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 bra. Lakini neno pale unaona kadash. The first one after the dash is think. Think about such things. Nikichukua your word to think. It is a command from God. He's telling you to think. By the way, kuna nyimbo tulikuwa tunaimba zinaitwa za kiroho. One of it, um, I remember, ilikuwa inasema Mungu hapedi wajiga. Gaida kana hiyo ni ilimo. Hapedezwi na wajiga. Na wajiga sio wale wajiga unafikiria kwa shule ya walikuwa wajiga. Wajiga ni wale wamekataa kufikiria. My mother used to tell us when I was growing up. Niwaambie. Kai mtaishi ilagia. Sio ati hatukuwa tunafikiria. And by the way everybody thinks. But there's what I'm calling analytical thinking. Amen. I'm told I don't, I'm not very sure that equity bank. For those of you that have seen it grow from a very small thing to what it is. Ati iko na a very senior officer. Kazi yake ni ku think. Ana ako na ofisi yake na kiti ile ya ku swing. Hakuna kazi nyingine. And there is one particular year she brought she's a lady by the way. Mungu atusamehewa wanaume. There is one year she brought to the bank 100 million. An idea alikuja nayo sichweni kani. Mwaka huo aliletea kampuni 100 million. Na hiyo ni zamani. That I was told about 5 years ago. I don't know about now. Sema thinking I'm not just talking about it. Of course, every time you are thinking, unless you are asleep. <laughs> but I'm not talking that, about that kind of thing. I'm talking about critical thinking. Analytical thinking. Thinking that you make your life better. Amen? Bible commands us to think. And, uh, write down Proverbs 23, verse 7. The Bible says that as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. So vile unafikiria. For No, it's not that. 23 Proverbs 23:7. Eh uh, the other point is called giving. Giving. Tithes and offerings. Even giving generally. There are three categories of people. We have three categories of people. The first category, they are called givers. They seek to give more than they receive. The second category are takers. These ones receive more. They want to receive more than they give. And the third category, they are matchers, from the word match. They tend to match their giving with their receiving. I had a friend one time, he was not born again. But he was a good man. However, me, I used to work for the government. He was in a business. So, I was na pesa kushidas mimi, sisi. So, siku moja, ikuwa July. No, no, July kuna baridi, eh? Haka nipereka chai siku ya kwanza. Natuka kunywa, nika hoteli kazuri. Natuka kula wewe, tuma snacks na nini. Siku ya pili, haka nipereka the same. Sasa, the shida sasa, I think he was a matcha. <laughs> because he expected me to take him the third. Na mimi sasa nagoja mwisho wa mwe. <laughs> and there was too much money at the end of my money. Not too much money, but too much month at the end of my money. Yani pesa angu ilikuwa inaisha tarehe tano, wama tarehe tatu. Now, hadi ya kaniuliza, 
ekai mudu utakoragwa na mbeca <laughs> we mtu hukuagi na pe kwa sababu amenipeleka mara ngapi <laughs> mara bibi <laughs> alafu ya tatu ananiangalia anaona sisemi chochote i felt so bad lakini kuna mambo mengine yanafanyikanga yanakuwa mazuri hapo ndiyo ma- mawazo ya biashara unasikia alikuwa katika biashara ilianza kuniingia pale this guy is better than me because his money comes any other day not only the end month so there are some things that happen to you inakuwa inakuwa shame kweli lakini inakuwa ni mzuri jacob peninas in life thank god for your for your peninas they come to to make you better not not worse proverbs 11:24 there is that scatters and it tends to increase and there is that withholds more than is necessary but it tends to poverty some people are not are still in need some people are in want because they don't need this angalia mkono wangu unless nikujue huu mkono hivi nikipeana ni ngumu sana nikishapeana niki si ndio mungu ataweza weka kitu ndani yangu kwa hii mkono lakini nikikaa nimeshika hivi nimekuja Sometimes early this week eh? or last week something happened to me. Eh when I I live in Kiambu. Kuna mambo mengi yamefanyika. Huyu amefiwa na huyu. Huyu kwa hospitali. Huyu nini? Hapa kanisani nao niko katika almost unajua pastors wanakuanga katika every department. Kuna mambo kuna. Hi sasa nikakaa na mimi mwenyewe niko na mambo yangu. Nikakaa nikaona hii this giving imekuwa mingi peke yangu tu najizungumzia lakini naye Mungu ni mwema nikasikia sauti nyingine ikiniambia hii giving unaona kama umechoka hii ndio itakuletea baraka uweze kumaliza hata hata hayo mambo yako unataka kumali nikamwambia Mungu i'm sorry bwana asifiwe sasa hiyo nikaangalia ma whatsapp yote nikiona ma treasure ni nani huku huku treasure ni nani nikifanya nini nikituma kitu unless ukikuwa mkono birika ni ngumu sana you can, it's, it's hard for you to get to your destiny you we must learn it's called venting even in life you have to vent amen <laughs> kuna kitu nimefikiria lakini sijui niseme ama nisiseme lakini wacha niseme ile kinai is it like there is a lake that does not have outlets ni gani in geography eh hmm? not let this yata hapa hapa Kenya tu haina outlet haya tuongee kuhusu red sea eh, hiyo hiyo tumeambiwa ni dead sea mnasikia hata jina yake dead haina outlet ni kuletewa tu inaletewa maji lakini haitoi bwana ukikuwa tu ni kukula have you ever had constipation unakula lakini hauendi nini kusema kuvent usiseme hiyo mambo mengine sema kuvent tu why maisha inakuanga difficult sana hata mtu akikaa karibu na wewe ile gasi utatoa. Haya, <laughs> twende point that point. Is it that point? Ama fourth. Fourth. Avoid debt as much as you can. I have only 11 minutes so I have to rush. Avoid debt, debt as much as you can. Pay off your debts as quickly as possible. you are dead and live ni mtu alisema hivyo i think she was called dr carolyn somebody pay you are dead and live every time you borrow money you are robbing yourself of your future mnasikia wakati nilikuwa nakuja hapa kuna mtu aliniletea kitu sitawaambia ni nini msianze kufikiria ni nani kitu sema kitu sasa huyu dada ni mdada alitaka ninunue na mimi sina pesa ya kununua na nikajua nikiichukua ana, anajua nitalipa lakini nikiichukua na silipi nimeiweka nimejiweka kwa nini kwa deni and what does the bible say about reading that a a borrower is a, a slave to the to the lender nimejiweka kila wakati namuona hata kama mwisho wa mwezi hujafika na kubuka niko na wakati mwingine unakuwa tempted hata kupita kwenye hayuko upade mwingine so i'm trying to say this 
when whenever every time you borrow money whenever you borrow money you are robbing yourself of your future borrow b- borrow for development don't borrow to go for school nimesema na nitarudia don't borrow to to entertain us hata ukisikia kuna wakati nilikuwa naishi zima man kuna kaduka tulikuwa naye anapenda sana alikuwa anapenda sana tu hata tusinunue tulikuwa na kitabu kila mtu <laughs> mimi na marafiki zangu mnaelewa so nikisikia geni then what i could not afford naenda kuchukua kwa sababu anajua mwisho wa mwezi ikifika tutakuja kufanya nini kulipa so we we were living in it's like in, is it a rat race do you know a rat race usifungue kitabu kwa duka enda un, ukisema unakuja kunitabela na sina pesa ya maziwa utakunywa turugi ya nyani naku ama mkate bila kupaka kwa sababu sina pesa ya bluebird niishi maisha ya furaha i don't have to borrow to entertain you if you are my little friend number 4 number 5 plan and spend carefully this is called budgeting plan and spend carefully a budget is telling your money where to go instead of wondering where it went when you don't have a budget you will be wondering where your money goes ah uh, i earn 100000 where does it go now when you have a budget it is telling it where to amen na sina muda wa kuambia mambo mengi ya budget budget ni ku ni rahisi it doesn't have to be complicated wewe unajua unalipanga rent na unakulanga amen na unasomesha watoto na una tithe ziwe, zipatie pesa na unajiwekea kidogo yako hapo ya kutumia kidogo that is budget it's complete amen the difference between the one who budgets and the one who does not budget is that this one will be wondering where his money goes and the other one will be knowing where his money goes budget is also in the bible in luke 14:28 it is called counting the cost luke 14:28 we get into debt because we fail to control our spending you will be out of financial trouble if you will plan how to spend your money mnaelewa sema budget we borrow to impress people that are neither interested nor bothered a man called devi said this we buy things we don't need with the money we don't have to impress people we don't even like acha niseme tena we buy things we don't need with the money we don't have to impress people we don't even like not people you hate you don't have to hate somebody for you not to like her he moroha lakini unanunua kiatu ya 1700 jameni to impress people that are not even interested in you mnanielewa kuna dada mmoja naye dugu yake ni mpole sana alitaka tununue net nilikuwa kwa komiti yake inaitwaje ni net ama nini ya harusi ni net yangu nilifanya kitabu sasa nimeanza kusahau <laughs> eh gaun yeah. i was looking for that word eh, lakini kwa kikuyu nafikiri ni net eh, eh kwa kikuyu inaitwa net yeah, yeah, yeah. i'm thinking ni kikuyu and preaching in english <laughs> Na walitaka tununue ya that thousand. Na mtu mmoja kwa committee ameofa yake. Yeye alikuwa ashanunua. Amefanya harusi yake. Yeye alikuwa na pesa. Sasa anamwambia nitakupatia yangu na nilivaa tu ni mimi tu nilivaa. Tutaenda tuishon tu, tuifanye marekebisho kidogo ikufit kwa sababu yeye ni mdogo kwangu kwa mwili. And she doesn't want. Na alingangana tu. Do you know what I did? nilitoa ile pledge yangu nilikuwa nimeweka alafu nikasahau mambo yao mimi siwezi kuja atuniite tuketi shini kuogea mambo yenye ni ya kiujiga kidogo tununue 
gauni ya 30000 na hauna tushange ai hapana so nilitoa ile pledge yangu nikaambia sogeni na na committee bwana yesu asifiwe that's what devi is teaching us here about impressing people that are not even interested haya sasa tuko na ya mwisho inaitwa pray pray if you want to be a wise man manager be a man of and a woman of prayer of course i'm speaking to men prayer Psalms 24 verse 1 the bible says that the earth is the lords and the fullness thereof the world and they that dwell therein i, I want to say this everything belongs to god mnanielewa and the bible tells us that we do not have because we do not pray kila kitu ni ya mungu by the way pray pray to get to where you want to go god will help you god says when you pray god sends angels to guide you amen the bible says that whatsoever things you desire just ask mark 11:24 therefore i say unto you whatsoever things you desire when you pray believe that you receive them and you shall have them niulize niulize swali why don't people pray for big money hata wacha nisiseme people why don't you pray for big money why are you only contented with the daily bread like david do you remember david of old david alisema usinipatie mingi nisifanye nini nisileta maringo wala usininyime nisiibe unipatie tu ya the daily the daily bread unataka kubaki pale tu wana asifiwe alafu ijili tutapeleka na nini kama sio pesa yako Amen. Pray for big money. Hebu angalia naiba wako mwambie pray for big money. And and believe God for big money. Achana na mambo ya wewe wewe sio mtoto wa kiroho ati Daudi alisema hayo akiwa mtoto wa kiroho. Wewe sasa umekomaa. Pray for big money. We want mili- tunataka magari makubwa makubwa sasa ya tuanze kuyaona kwa church yetu. Tumechoka na tukali tudogo. Come on. Amen. Mungu anajalia huru. Niongee vibaya. Kuna dada moja wa, wa hospitali she lives in America now. Na Mungu amemuinua. Actually I, I ate Christmas nilikula kwa nyumba yake. Siku moja alikuja pale before we uh, I mean hospital department. Before we receive visit, when we come to church we come a little bit earlier that means earlier. We pray. We pray tuna sanitize the ile pahali tutapokea wageni tunaomba wakikuja wa, wapokee Kristo mambo kama hayo. So wakati tunakutana yeye alikuja kama analia. Nikashidwa ni nini? Kaendeleza maombi lakini baada ya kutoka nikamuita. Akaniambia pasta nime nimedhihakiwa sana. Kuna mtu amenibeba it was raining. Kuna mtu amenibeba. Na ni rafiki yangu na ameniambia mambo mabaya sana. Akasema eh amenikuta kukinyesha na kuna matope. Sasa nilipoingia nafikiri akaangalia viatu zangu. Akaniuliza, "Kayotora gothia gona maguru?" Tanyamu. <laughs> Nonya muitora gothia gana magu. Yaani it's Greek for this. Ni wanyama tu tuliachia watebe na miguu. Watu siku hizo wan drive. <laughs> George you remember Irene? She's the one. Siku hizo hakuna mtu mmoja wetu hata hata mimi pasta wake bado nilikuwa ni mnyama <laughs> According to the description of the person who carried her Sasa nami niliposikia hivyo nikasikia uchungu nikamwambia tushikane mikono Tukashikana mikono tukaitisha gari yake Of course unajua nikiitisha gari yake mimi nitajisahau <laughs> Within three months she was driving say hallelujah Kuna mazuri kwa penina mapenina ni wazuri na mimi within one year sijui kwa nini Mungu anapenda kunipelekanga pole sorori sorori <laughs> Mimi yangu ilikaa one year lakini bado ikaku Ame, sasa nataka kuongea vibaya Nimewaambia tumechoka na tugari tudogo Bwana asifiwe Oba gari na usiangalie pesi lipi yako 
na ukiomba unaona yule George he's one of us in the hospital he doesn't press more by the way he challenges i'm his pastor but he challenges me a lot ameniambia within one year anaenda america na ataenda yule mnaona pale ule mtaona nilikuja nikawapatia story zile america kulivyo by the way ukienda us mtu akwambia let's go for lunch ujichuge sana <laughs> hajasema anakununulia <laughs> Unaelewa? Acha niwa niwaelimishe. <laughs> he just means you are company him for lunch. Lakini utajiangalia. So nilipokuja nikawaambia ma story nini nini. George akaniambia within one year. Na mimi namwamini. Kwa sababu aliniambia ataendesha gari. Akaiendesha. Akaniambia amechoka na gari kadogo. After three months nikamuona na gari kubwa. Sasa kubona nisiamini. Why don't you pray? Hebu niulize, kwani Mungu wa George si Mungu wako? Ai, you must must you be a small scale business. Say na itwa self what? Forever. Ai, kwa ni Mungu ama father of five na hakuna mtoto mzuri kushida mwingine na wapenda wote equally. Na mimi ni binadamu. Na Mungu je? Does does God love George more than he loves you? Pray. You don't have because you don't pray and when you pray you make Your motives are wrong. That's why some prayers are not answered. Pray to the glory of to the glory of Amen. Mnanielewa? Hii ni point yangu ya mwisho na nataka msisahau. Na nitaimaliza na kuwapatia ushuhuda. Maushuhuda bili. Ya moja ya kwanza ya kwanza ni yangu. Mimi nilikuja hapa about 7 or 8 years ago. Nilikuwa nimesota. Ana working lakini watu hawakuwa nanilipa sijui kwa nini kuna wakati mwingine zinafungangwa na sijui nani nikakuja mimi wa ministry team watu walipomaliza kuja kuombewa nikaona hakuna wengine wanakuja nikashikana na pastor Kauda alikuwa my neighbor nikamwambia ni obe i need money ni sadrod tumesubuana mama tumesu unajua mama wameokoka lakini washeni ni waambie ukweli <laughs> can i tell you the truth wameokoka lakini usiporeta kitu jioni we tile goza kwa kutachekwa we haya so nilikuwa na machungu nikamwambia niombe lakini wakati anani na ukiombea unanyamaza usikie Mungu nikanyamaza aniombe aniombe nikasikia sauti ya Mungu ikaniambia call for your money from the north from the south from the east from the west and i did exactly that na nikaanza hiyo hobi ku call for by the way money has years do you know that ni moyo huo money mnajua miti iko na masikio uliona mtu ukisugunzua na yesu na ukakauka what does that tell you ulisiki na mawimbi yako na masikio uliona yakitulizwa na yakatulia pesa iko na masikio so i called for the money amen na pesa ikakuja nikaanza kulipwa madeni na kuitua kazi zingine hapo ndio hata nilipata breakthrough ya kwenda outside the country kufanya kazi haleluya na maisha yakakuwa mazu na mama akaona aliolewa na mtu si kimtu <laughs> by the way unakuwa kimtu ongea kule heki ndo we ukikosa kuleta kitu ninyi ninyi mimi mliita niwaambie wacha niwaambie mimi na waletea neno na experience i'm 55 Although somebody said that don't tell us about your years because it might be the experience of one year multiplied. <laughs> so sir, years does, do not necessarily have to go with wisdom. But mnaona kama nimekosa hekima kweli. Ningeitwa na hawa wanaume mnaona hapa. Amen. Tunacheka lakini jishu jishunge. Niwaambie niko na shida gapi? ingine ingine si yangu ni ya mchungaji mwenzangu na yuko hapa na siku nimemwambia nita nita acha nitaisema lakini sitawaambia ni nani alikuwa ameitwa town siku za msoto tu kuhubiri lancha wana unajua ukihubiri lancha unapewa kaka kitu kama sio dini yenu ukihubiri dini yenu haupewi chochote lakini ukiitwa na wachungaji wengine watakupea kitu sasa alikuwa na that bob only na ilikuwa saa tano saa sita hiyo inatosha kutoka Roisabu kwenda town lakini kwa kuwa na jam something had happened along the road 
So magari yakakuwa haba, watu wakakuwa we. Watu wakakuwa wengi. And the man akashidi watafanyaje? Sasa watu wakiwa wengi fare zinafanya nini? Zinapanda. Ikakuwa ni 80 na 100, gari zote zinakuja. Na wakashangaa atafanya nini? Hata pigia yule amtumie mpesa, unaona utaleta aibu. Unaitwa man of God na na huna fare. Hmm? So akashangaa, akakumbuka akona baba. Akasema atoke kwa watu, aende kando. Aombe Mungu ampatie gari ya dhati dhati bomb. Akatoka hapa, akaenda kama hapa kwa ile speaker. Akatoka kwa umati wa watu. Watu wote walikuwa naingia kwa magari ikisimama ni kufinyana. Kagari personal kakakuja, akaomba, akamwambia Mungu, unajua niko na dhati bomb na nataka kuenda town. Naomba uniletega gari ile maombi ya kijinga alipokuwa na malizia kagari kakasimama mbele yake mtu mmoja town na dhati ni gari ni kama personal alisema labda asaidia watu ama wale mnaelewa mtu mmoja town na akaingia tu kama ni yeye alikuwa wengine wakajaribu kujisukuma walikuwa wanakibia sasa watoke penye alikuwa ametoka ah driver akasema hapana mimi si overload akafuga mwako sema that town sema town na dhati bob Now the miracle is that that is a miracle but a small one. He now started wondering, huyu Mungu kama anaweza kunipatia gari ya dhati bob at such a time. Hawezi nipatia gari yangu. Akamchallenge, Mungu naomba unipatie gari. Mimi nakutumikia. Ah, anaitwa Pastor Jega. Kai Google tida nina struggle sana kuwaambia. Anaitwa Pastor Jega. Wengine mnamjua. Sasa akasema Mungu nitanipatia nini? gari Nakwambia akaenda kuhubiri umasaini Akahubiri vizuri sana. Mumasai mmoja akaguswa. Akasema huu mtu ametuhubiria vizuri sana. Na amekuja na matatu na amesubuka sana. Ni mimi nimetoa 300,000. Kanisa muniongezee tumnunulie gari. Tayari 300? Sio tayari yako na gari. Haleluya. Within three months the man was driving. Amen. Hata yeye kuna pahali hata yeye alichangia eh? Amen. Lakini gari iliku. Sasa within another year nikaona gari hata amechange. Sio kale niliona kamzee. Sasa kamekuwa kengi. Ingine. Bwana asifiwe. I'm trying to challenge you. Pray. You don't have because you don't pray. You don't ask. And when you ask you ask in the wrong motives to the glory of God. Hana prayed for a child. Maombi ya kwanza ilikuwa ndiyo penina aone hata yeye Mungu anaweza mpatia mtoto. Mungu hakumpatia mtoto. Maombi ya pili ilikuwa ndiyo asione aibu. Mungu nipe mtoto nisione aibu. Mungu hakumpea mtoto. Lakini aliposema Mungu nipatie mtoto mwenye nitampeleka kwa, cha, kwa kazi yako. Yaani to the glory of hapo ndiyo alipewa mtoto. Na akafanya kama vile walikubaliana na Mungu. Na Mungu Naye Mungu ni nani? Alipotimiza ahadi yake, Mungu alimuongeza wengine saba. Amen. Na Samueli mnamjua. Bwana asifiwe sana. Mtaomba ama mtaoba. Pray. Do what? Pray. Na usiseme Mungu anajua. Pray. I think I will stop there. I've enjoyed myself. Ile kitu inasema red. But there is something my, my daughter amepata kazi juzi tu. I think she is two weeks old in employment. Now eh, I called her as a good father. Kamwambia tuongee. Tukiwa wawili tu. I wanted to I have made so many mistakes in life and I don't intend to see them make mistakes. Unaelewa? Unajua siku zenye ulinunua kinanda kikubwa nini 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 watu waone umepata kazi. Uh, uh, so nikaanza kumu, kumuelekeza hiyo direction about maybe owning a house something like that. Nikamwambia wewe sasa tunaishi Nairobi you don't have to move out. You can move out to your own house. I was going that direction. Little did I know I was speaking. Unajua watoto wengi unafikiria watoto hawafikiri ati akili zako tu ndizo wanaweza tumia. <laughs> 
Kuna kitu aliniambia tukiongea tu. Na nikaona nitakuja niwaambie. Jo nimeipata pale. She said something hata mimi nani inanishangaza. That the poor live in a house. Sorry. Uh, I'm putting it the way she put it, but doesn't mean if you are renting you are poor. But she said the poor live in a house where they pay. But the rich live in a house where they are paid to live. Na tena akasema acha niifafanue. Akasema kitajiri ananunua nyumba kama 5 million. Anaishi kwa hiyo nyumba after hiyo or two akitaka kuiuza anaiuza 10 million. Anaenda kuingine ama anafanya kitu kingine na hiyo pesa yake. Akaniuliza si huyo mtu basi amelipwa. She that man has been paid to live. Are you getting the, the difference? Mnanipata? What about the other person? He has been paying the monthly rent for for years every other year. So it it set me thinking. Bwana asifiwe sana. Haleluya. Bwana asifiwe. Situsimamie pale. What have we learned? I used I used to be a high school teacher in my youth. One point hata si lazima ufuatanishe yenye nimesema. Vile nimefuatanisha solo. Work, good, work. Yes sir. Ma pesa iko na masikio. Pasta. Think, pasta ulitubilia vizuri sana. I am sure you had thought. <laughs> I was in that service. He was a Prayer, 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 prayer. Thank you. Eh, hey, plan, plan. Kwanza wewe unajua hiyo kazi, unastahili utuongeleze mara nyingi. That's your speciality. Yes sir. Pray big, not just pray but pray. Pray big. Paka kuna wakati Yesu alikuwa anasema I've never seen such faith in Israel. Unaweza omba ombi mpaka ushtue hata Yesu mwenyewe. Yesu mtai. Avoid the debts. Bwana, hizi vitu zimetupeleka vibaya. I wish I had time. Ningewaambia. I was in Nyeri one time. Nilikuwa hakuna street ningepitia. <laughs> Kwa sababu hii street niko na madeni hii gine niko na madeni hii gine niko na madeni we bwana afadhali kujifunza kujifu, na wengine badala ya kujifunza na yako asanti that was good yes sir uh-huh. imagine that the poor live in a house well, let's be practical Masha, how much did you buy that house how much did you buy it those years yes 10 you bought it at 10m how much is it worth now that faith munaskia he bought it at 10m today it is worth that faith munaelewa so akienda use leo aseme atataka apartment watoto hata wametoka has he not been paid to live in that house Mnaelewa? Na sio lazima ukue na 10 ndio ufanye nini. Mimi nilitiwa nilitiwa plot Samia sabaki ni mwehoko at 150,000 na nilikuwa nayo na sikununua. Mnaelewa? Ningenunua hata bili ya matatu na sikununua. Nilienda nikaona matope mengi sana. Sikujua mimi ndiye matope huku. <laughs> Saa hizi who lives around mwehoko? Muniambie zinatoka ngapi? I don't know how would be millions i think it's about 8 million one plot na ilikuwa 1 150 10000 ilikuwa za broker 160 juu ya broker i would be <laughs> oi nyinyi wacheni tuachie hapo <laughs> mungu abariki sana mmepita nyote na a minus when you go and do when you go and do utaifanya iwe a plain sema a plain when you go and do